Microsoft Fabric is a game changer for real-time analytics, offering powerful options for different scenarios. In this video, I will show you how to use a notebook to automatically run an API every two seconds, fetch live data, and stream it into an event stream. So let's create this solution together. Okay, so let's uh, first review the overall structure of this solution. What I want to do, I want to create a notebook in Microsoft Fabric, write uh, some Python code, which uh, that Python code can help you to run any API every two seconds uh, automatically. So I want to run an API every two seconds automatically, and then fetching the data, then I want to find the local date and time, which I'm living in Sydney, Australia. So I want to find the date and time and add that to the data. Then I want to send those data automatically to an event stream. So from the event stream, then you have all the options to save them into the KQL database, create a real time dashboard or create a uh, data activator, create a reflex, uh, set some condition and check those uh, condition and receive notification. So the main thing is to create a notebook, write some Python code, which I uh, wrote a uh, blog post about that one. I will go through that blog post and review the important part of that and create the solution together in this video. So let me bring my web browser uh, here let me close this one and this is the blog post uh, which is available on my website sending api data to fabric real-time intelligence with notebook so uh, there are many details there which i highly recommend you to read that first uh, when you're watching this uh, video you can open that one and follow the in the information there so for this scenario as a demo I want to test two API. One of them is the Binance API, which will return the price of the cryptocurrencies like this one. And the other one, I want to use this API, which will return the real time location of the international space uh, station, which is this one. And that will show us this information. Those two are different because this one, this API is a single object but the other one is the list which uh, that contains many objects inside that as you can see there are many records here for different uh, different uh, cryptocurrency so what i want to do i want to have a notebook to be able to manage this condition so let's go through the, this one so first of all i need cre to create a uh, create a notebook in a workspace that has a uh, fabric capacity. So this one is a demo uh, workspace I created for myself, and that has a fabric capacity, which is a terial capacity. And uh, I'm lucky because it's still 34 days of that uh, left and I can use it. So I created this notebook here and nothing is there. First of all, I need to run this code here. And what that code will do, that will install the request which uh, give me this option to run HTTP uh, API, then PYTZ, which uh, is uh, good for uh, finding the local date and time, and then the Azure service bus, which uh, uh, will give me this option to send the data to the event stream. So when you run this one, that will install those, uh, uh, those in, here. So I will run that one to see the output of that here. Just give it a few seconds and that will be completed uh, soon. So session ready, 11 seconds, as you can see here, and then requirement, uh, requirements already satisfied. So yeah, that's completed. So that's completed, all of them are installed. So I want to go, uh, go step by step and check all of those codes and review them together. So in this blog post, I uh, included all the details here in many sections, but at the end, there is a uh, there is a full code, which you can just copy paste this 
and then add in your uh, connection for your event stream here change this to your api and that will work but in this video i will go through all the details here and one by one we will review that one so the first one is to writing this code to be able to run an api so i will copy paste it here in the code and i will use that request which i installed here and then for now i added the, this binance uh, binance api here and then i said just check it if it's single object or list manage that this way if it's a list and big list just print the first uh, five records here so i will run this one to see the output and that show the five items here i can even run this api here um, and change this one to the satellite station and then that will return the location of the international space uh said yeah international space station here so okay so that works that works the api works here very well then as i said i want to add the date and time in the sydney location so date and time from the australia date and time to there so current time here uh if i add another code here that will return the timestamp in the for example different ways which i added three columns here one of them will show the date and time for sydney you can change it to your date and time the other one I added the column for the date and the time you can even don't use this and just running this one and send it to even a stream i added this one to have the current time in sydney australia uh, as my location so if i run this that will add the date and time to date and time here to the previous uh, item so the previous uh, previous item was a location of that satellite only one single object but if i change that to this binance one which has the many records there let me first run this one and you can see there are uh, there are around 500 it cryptocurrency uh, uh there and then i just added the five records here but if i add this one run this date and time again that will add the date and time to each record which is exactly what i'm looking for so then uh back to here then what i want to do i want to send those data to an event stream so i will copy this code to the notebook here and then there is a section here inside your even stream SAS key. So let me go back to the workspace and add a, create a even stream here. First, I will uh, name it crypto. Create. And then we need to add a custom endpoint as a source here. If I, um, click on this one add a source there are options here but uh, i want to use this custom endpoint and name it as a notebook let me add a notebook and then add it and make sure when you add this here uh, name it just click on the publish when that be published then here there are some keys there are some uh, keys here and in these three different protocols even hub uh, amqp and kafka i would need this even hub and i need that sas key authentication here uh let me bring it a little bit on. this code connection string primary code is the code i need just click on this one to be able to copy that one and then replace this section by that code between those two double quotation and that's it it's ready and if i click on run that will send the data 500 uh, 553 records sent to my event stream so i can check it i can refresh this event stream to make sure that works without any issue so it takes a little bit time to create that one while it's refreshing what i will want to do i will create another event stream for the satellite uh, location so let me go here create another item even the screen iss is i will call it i i so let me create it in the folder new item here iss iss 
location no space yep create that one so here back to the previous uh, previous option which refresh is finished and you can see all of those cryptocurrency 553 items have been sent to this event stream all of them are ready here so back to the new event stream add a custom endpoint same iss uh, add then again click on publish so here the code is ready but i don't want to use that notebook with all of those you know different codes let me remove all of them and in my blog post at the end you can see the full code so you don't need to run them separately and this time i added the code here to run it every two seconds so that will be a, uh, when you start that one every two seconds that will run the api and send the data to that event stream so i will add the code here what i need to do I need to make sure what API I want to use. I want to use this API for the for the uh, satellite location, which I added here as a comment. You can use that if you need. Um, that's a good example, free API, and you can uh, use it, try it, and then uh, you can change it to any API you want. So here, the new event stream I created, uh, copy this connection one, connection string, and add it here. So now everything are ready and I can just run it. If I click on the run, then the, that's send the record at 58, 430, 4, 53, 57, another time, another record send. And every two seconds that will run the API and send the information to even the stream. So here, if I refresh this, you can see all of, all of those information here. This will take a little bit time. Uh, let me uh, change this to live, then refresh it again. Yeah, so it works. All of this data added here, and you can see the date and time in my location, which is now 16th of February, 8 p.m. Every two seconds, a little bit more than two seconds. You can see three seconds here added there, and it's still and it's it works it won't stop it's sending the data back to back here and you can stop that the, here so this will work for any api you can change it from two seconds to five seconds six seconds and even you can remove this date and time and just uh you know modify the code in the way which uh that will cover your uh, your scenario i hope you find this video helpful Please support me by liking this video and subscribing my channel. Till next video, bye for now.